May Day, 1969, the Black Panther Party held rallies across the nation, demanding the jailed Minister of Defense, Huey P. Newton, be set free. And on Monday, there was a lot of propaganda going on for today. And the Panthers, they were making an extra hard job to go and mobilize the people for this rally. The pigs saw, they sought to stop this. The pig got on the loudspeaker, and this is what he said. Everyone in the Panther office, come out with your hands up and leave your guns. We don't take orders from pigs, so we didn't do this. By the time we got out the back entrance, there was about four pigs waiting for us at the gate. The tear gate affected us so bad that one of the sisters, she couldn't see where she was going and she was falling. So the field marshal grabbed her and he was holding her up. The pig said, God damn it, nigga, I told you to get your hands up against the motherfucking wall. So the field marshal said, I'm trying to hold his sister up. She's about to faint. When he said this, I don't know the pig's real name, but the panthers call him Big Red. Big Red turned around and leveled his M16 at Don Cox's head and fired about five rounds from a fully automatic weapon. The bullets went through his hair and bounced off the wall. He tried to kill the field marshal of the Black Panther Party, Don Cox. At this time, there was about 2,000 people on the scene, and the pigs started firing their Thompson machine guns and their M16s over the people's heads. And then pigs were grabbing our sisters and throwing them down and just uh, generally running them up. say one thing to the white people in the audience. Now you know Bobby has been saying for a long time, we will not fight racism with racism. We refuse to stoop to the level of a racist to hate somebody because of the color of his skin. Well that's fine, but I see a lot of white people walking around and say, oh good, now the Black Panther Party don't hate me. I can go on about my business. That's a cop out, brothers, and if you act like that, the Black Panther Party will hate you. Not because you're white, but because you ain't taking care of business to organize other people. Teach them the need to support the black liberation movement led by the Black Panther Party as a strong, fearless voice against American imperialism and to link up with all the people in Vietnam, in China, in Cuba, in Angola, in Latin America, and everywhere else who are standing shoulder to shoulder to drive this vicious beast out of the, out of the way and out of the pages of history. We want Huey P. Newton free! We're saying you bald-headed pig punks better get out of the way because we're tired. That we're saying you better let Huey go. The only way we're going to get some freedom and the only way we're going to get Huey P. Newton free is to understand where we the people are. I want you to repeat after me. I am, I am a revolutionary. A revolutionary. They have never lacked the Black Panther Party standing up and saying we're revolutionaries and practicing revolutionary action. They have never lacked the Black Panther Party standing up and proving through social practice that we're not racist, but proving that they in fact are the real racists. They have never liked the Black Panther Party saying that we want some socialistic programs implemented in the black community so we can survive and be free. They have never liked the Black Panther Party and the people talking about we want some community control of police. They have never liked the 10-point platform and program of the Black Panther Party. They have never respected Huey P. Newton, but we respect Huey P. Newton. We love Huey P. Newton. Right up. We love all our people. We love all our people. We love our people so much that if the pigs attack us, we're going to defend ourselves rightfully with guns and force. And that's our message to Pig Alioto and Richard M. Nixon's America. Thank you, and free Hillary! Hey!